Virgil Ortiz making his return versus Frederick Lawson. 12 round, 154 pound fight. Virgil Ortiz making his 154 pound debut. Virgil Ortiz, 5'10, 70 inch orange reach out of Dallas, Texas. Orthodox fighter, 25 years old, 19 wins, no losses. With all 19 of his victories coming by way of knockout. Um, Frederick Lawson, 34 years old, out of Ghana, Orthodox fighter, 5'9, out of uh, with a 70 inch reach. 30 wins, 3 losses, 22 wins by way of knockout, and 3 KOs. Virgil Ortiz, man. One of the best talents over the past few years that we've had in boxing. 100% knockout ratio, straight warrior. Was building up a nasty resume for a contender with the likes of guys like Maurice Hooker. Um, Imantis, not Imantis, Danny Onis. Um, Aegis Kalvinakis, Mean Machine, just... Was on the tear, bro, but then he had some health issues with the ribdo. I can't say it. ribdo is short for it, but where the poison is in your blood or whatever, you know, over-exercising. I think they said he came down with COVID. So as a result, he's been out of the ring, like, since August of 2022. But, man, this is a power boxer with counterpunching ability, coming forward with a nice, strong, stiff power jab, body work, and, bro, he cracking. He cracking. I got no doubt that his power will move up to 154. The question that you got to have about Virgil Ortiz Jr. is his health. What does it, is going to 154 better? Is he going to be healthier? I've seen videos of him working out. He looks better. Um, the issue is this. The issue with Virgil Ortiz is this, bro. It's this. Can he take punches? What is it going to be like getting hit to the body? Is there something wrong with him internally that he won't know until fight night? Because talent-wise, ability-wise, you hope that he don't turn into like a Bo Jackson in football. I ain't saying he Bo Jackson good, because Bo Jackson, one of the greatest athletes of all time. But just one of these stories where, you know, what if, bro? If Virgil Ortiz when they had health issues, Damn, he could have been this, 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 and this. You just hope that he gets to realize his potential and he gets to continue his career and reach whatever that potential is. For Frederick Lawson, 34 years old, he going to come to fight. He a banger. Um, he, his feet ain't fast. He ain't back-footed. He going to come and he going he gonna to get he gonna get to it. He going to get to it. He going to bang with you. He going to he gonna try to throw his shit. He believe in his power. He a gunning warrior coming out of gunner. So he going to come and he going to throw down. That's the wrong thing to do with Virgil Ortiz, homeboy. <laughs> That's the wrong thing to do with Virgil Ortiz in your face, bro. He ain't somebody you want to bang with. And what I like about Virgil out of Dallas, Texas, getting hurt against Mean Machine, he showed, like, everybody got that moment, bro, where it's like, damn, he knocked me off my square a little bit. Do you get back? Do you get back on it? Do you get back on your square? Do you get do you get back on your squirt? Or do you fall off? Do you go away? Do you do you wilt under the pressure? And he showed against Mean Machine. He was a dog. He got up, started throwing punches even harder, waving Mean Machine in, recovered, and stopped his ass. So he a dog. Even if Frederick Lawson clip him in the fight, I know what Virgil Ortiz is gonna do. So I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I think he gets some rounds in. I think he start off rusty. I think he turn up mid to late in the fight, and I think he keep his 100% knockout ratio going. Frederick Lawson ain't got the defense. He already been knocked out multiple times, and Virgil Ortiz is much more skilled, much more dangerous, much more relentless than anybody he ever been in the ring with. And as long as Virgil is feeling like Virgil, as long as he feeling good, as long as he feeling healthy, somebody like him whose style is not predicated on Timing and he got timing, don't get me wrong, but time and movement, counter punching ability, you know, matador, my jab, and you know, pull counter, head movement. All right. Somebody's style is predicated on that. Maybe they'd be a little bit more rusty and they, they would need more time to get going. But somebody whose style is built on, bro, I'm walking through you. I'm working off this strong ass power jab. I'm looking to land power shots. I'm going to your body. And I'm walking through you, dog, while being defensively responsible with my high guard and trying to parry shots. That shit right there, you can have some, a layoff like what Virgil Ortiz 
had it. As long as you had a good camp, as long as you healthy, you can come in and just pick right up and be able to still put on a similar performance to what you had been doing when you went out. So I'm going to assume health because I have trust in Robert Garcia, Virgil Ortiz, his father, um, and his team, that they wouldn't let him fight. He wouldn't make it to this point. He wouldn't be gearing up, you know what I'm saying, to 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 fight unless they felt confident that he could be who he is. And based on the tape that I've seen, he looking strong, looking full, looking healthy, looking like the monster that he always looked like. So I anticipate that that's who we're going to see. And I don't think Frederick Lawson can do nothing with him. So I got Virgil Ortiz Jr. by stoppage round six to round eight. Y'all let me know who y'all got. We out of here. Peace out.